Hi viewers, this is Alex Tech Solution. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to clone a laptop hard drive of 256 gigs to uh, 512 gigabyte SSD using an external uh, adapter. And the program that I'm going to use today is going to call Macrium Reflect. So what you do is open your browser and type Macrium Reflect and then you see MacriumReflect.com Click on the link on the website and then click on Home Use Once you download, you open the file and then you have to download from the server now. You click on download. Proceed with download, yes. So my laptop has a SSD M.2 SATA and it has uh, 256 gigs, so I'm going to clone to uh, another hard drive, 512 gigabytes, SSD M.2. If you're using a big disk drive or a bigger SSD, you will need to resize the partition. So it's almost done downloading. Now when when the download is done, now you have to click here on next. It's gonna start copying. Now we're gonna start installing and then uh, you click next. Here you click accept next. And then what free edition license do you require? You click home, next. Uh, would you like to register? No, next. Uh, then you can click next again, install. Then when it's done, you click finish. Let me registration do not do not remind me. Now you will see your the hard drive of your laptop usually is on the top, right? And then it will say disk one, and then the one in the bottom is the the external hard drive or external SSD that you want to clone to. Now what you do next is you click on here clone this disk. You will see source local disk this is the one that you want to clone and then here you select the disk to clone and then just pick this one, click here. Now, I have I have stuff done before. I have used this, this uh, SSD before, so I have to delete all the partitioners there. I'll delete everything. And then it's gonna be clean. Now, what you have to do, you have to see here, for example, I have uh, four partitioners, right? I have the partition of one, two, three. Three is the the primary, the local disk, the C. And then I have the four. So 
the one that you have to uh, adjust the partition of is on the C because you're going from 256 gig to uh, 512 so you have to go adjust on later you have to adjust on the clone partition property you have to adjust the size so the way you do is you first start on the, the first partition here so you drag this hold on drag and drop to the the, the second disk here so you, you've done uh, the first one now you go to the second one drag and drop third one drag and drop now you will see the fourth partition has if you see here on the bottom you see 360.8 megabytes and then you will see 450 megabytes that means 450 is the total capacity of this partition but 360 is the the one that you have used or or this hard drive has used so the way you 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 adjust this you see here 450 right megabytes right okay now you go here on make sure this is selected right uh, this one you, you see like an underline here underline here right and then you click on clone partition of property now you have to now you have a free space you have to use this one to adjust because if you see here this line here is in the middle middle but you have you're gonna have to expand that so I'm gonna show you so here you have to put on free space you change convert gigabytes to megabytes and then you can you put you type 460 you can leave like 10 megabytes it's okay free and then you put 460 and then you hit okay and then now you have adjusted so you have expand the the, the C drive right before used to be 237 now you expand to 475.88 gigs so you can fit the fourth partition here so and then you drag this and drop uh, you still have like free 10 megabytes but you can leave like that it's not a big deal and then you click next click OK click next again and then finish and then hit OK then you click here continue and then just depend on the speed of your computer if your computer has a high performance of course you will go faster or depend on, on, on the specs of your computer, you know. You go slow or faster. It could be 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. The time to, to clone. So. Just wait to, to, for you to get at 100%. Now you see the clone is done. It says clone com complete and then you click OK and close close everything and you can check your C drive or D drive okay 
now it's all set. You just have to swap your SSD or hard drive and it's all ready to go. You have an option if you would like to reset your factory computer. That's what I usually do. Whenever I upgrade a computer, I do also a factory reset. So the computer will go clean and run fast. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.